Yo, what up Prestige community, it's Zav or PMHD here. Just before the video starts, I wanted to say I'm hosting a dope modded account and shark card giveaway just for you guys. To enter, follow the steps on screen. What's up guys, it's Helpful Gamer here and today I'll be coming at you with a brand new GTA 5 Online glitch video where I'll be showing you guys a new invisible body glitch working after the latest patch of 1.40. Okay guys, so what you guys wanna have for this glitch, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you have a military bunker from the gun running DLC, and you guys wanna make sure that you have at least one vehicle that you could drive into the bunker. So it doesn't have to be an APC tank, but just make sure it's a vehicle that could be driven into the bunker as like just a vehicle that could go in there basically. So once you guys have those requirements, you wanna go to your interaction menu, and you want to go over to spawn location and you want to set your spawn location to random now what will happen the first time doing this glitch is your character will go invisible but he won't be completely invisible he'll be see-through like he's in passive mode so you want to just once you've done it like that and you're like in the passive mode see-through you just want to do the glitch again and then it'll make you completely invisible but anyways once you got the vehicle and your spawn location is set to random you want to drive in the bunker and while you're in the bunker cinematic loading screen like when you're driving in Right when the screen turns black, as you guys can see, you want to find a new session from the options menu. And if you guys did the glitch correctly, remember, you'll have to do it for a second time to get completely invisible. But if you guys did it correctly, you will spawn in the second time with your body completely invisible. As you guys can see on screen, I'm walking around, you see my screen moving, but there's no character. You see the shadows from my feet and my gun is just floating in midair. So yeah, it's a really easy invisible body glitch working after the latest patch of 1.40. And you guys could literally do this unlimited times and it works like over and over and it's really easy. So I would recommend taking advantage of this before Rockstar does. Go ahead and patch it because you know Rockstar just likes to patch any glitch even if it's not game breaking. But yeah, that's basically what I got for today. Be sure to do the glitch a second time if you don't get completely invisible the first time because remember it takes two tries. But yeah, that's basically what I got for today. Hope you guys do go on and enjoy today's video.
Yo, welcome back to the channel. It's me again, The Wavy Gamer. Back at you with another GTA 5 online video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a dope unlimited money glitch, duplicating LG Retro Customs in any garage. Not just a 10 car, not just a CEO, but any garage, all right? It's like 30 million an hour, all right? You get one dupe every two minutes. All right, I'm gonna show y'all how to do it. You're gonna need an oppressor, all right? An oppressor, a Fagio, and a Retro Custom. Well, not necessarily a Retro Custom because you can dupe any car with this glitch. And you don't need custom plates. I mean, you should have custom plates, but you don't have to worry about the plates being dirty. It's going to give you a brand new plate every time you get it. It's just like the one inside the MOC. So no, you don't need plates. You don't have to worry about that. Nothing. All right, guys, just make sure you put your oppressor in slot one, the Faggio in two, and the retro or whatever car you duping in three. All right, set it up the way I got it set up in the video. Don't worry about it. If I go through this right here too fast, I got another one. I'm going to show you another clip of me doing it again, just so you can get it, just so you can get it down. All right, so hit that like button, sub if you're new, hit that bell next to my name. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm going to drive my oppressor outside, the one that was in slot one, and I'm going to tell my friend to get on it. Shout out to Tool Venom for helping me out with this video. All right, he's going to take off. When he takes off and he's up in the air flying and whatnot, request that Faggio. Make sure it's the same Faggio that you got inside of your garage. Okay, the reason I'm using the Faggio is because I can request it through my MC and it's cheap because we're going to dupe over it. All right, so I requested my Faggio. It's not going to show up. It's not going to show up because I, I, act, I have an active personal vehicle outside. All right, so he's flying around on my oppressor, so my fag is not going to show up. As you see, technically, it's still sitting right there. So what I'm going to do is, after I request my fag run inside, get inside my uh, retro custom, drive it outside. When I drive it outside and I try to drive it back in, it's not going to let me drive it back in. It's going to give me an alert. Watch, I'm going to show you right here in the video. Boom, there you go. I cannot drive this vehicle out. The vehicle cannot be stored in your garage. Okay, so now at this point, when you get that alert, just sit there and tell your friend to land your oppressor. When he lands it, it's gonna kick him off, it's gonna disappear. As soon as it disappears, make sure he tells you when it disappears, you drive in the garage. When you drive in the garage, you'll have a copy of your retro custom in the same slot that that Faggio was in. All right, guys, super simple, two minutes. All right, that's a mil every two minutes. 30 million an hour hit that like button sub if you're new hit that bell next to my name you don't want to miss out on the video i'm gonna run through it again right here with you real fast all right so i hopped in my oppressor which is in slot one my faggio is in slot two the car that i want to dupe is in slot three all right i'm driving my oppressor out shout out to toe venom i'm gonna have him jump on it shout out to obese giraffe tuto facile killer gaming and uh Gaming with Irish Demon for finding this glitch. You feel what I'm saying? It's a lot of people. It's a lot of hands in on this one. So shout out to them for finding it. All right. So once your friend hops on the oppressor and he flies off, make sure he stays in the air. He can land. He can land for like two, three seconds. But that's just enough time for him to uh, regain the boost and take off again. So make sure he's moving the entire time. All right. Once he takes off and he's in the air, um, pull up your interaction menu. Since you're in your MC, request your Fagio. All right. Make sure it's the one that's inside that garage. After you request a Faggio, it's not going to show up simply because he's still flying around in your oppressor. All right, once you uh, request that Faggio and he's still flying around, go inside the garage. All right, you see the Faggio still sitting there technically. So when I get inside the Retro Custom, I'm going to drive it outside. All right, this glitch is too simple. You, you, you can't even mess up on it. You can't go wrong unless the person riding your oppressor just can't fly for real. <laughs> you know, that's the only way you're going to mess up. All right, so even when I messed up, I duped the car. I duped them over my first oppressor the first time I tried it. All right, so now that I'm outside with my retro custom, I'm gonna try to drive in the garage and say that it can't be stored. I'm gonna tell my friend, land the oppressor. All right, when he lands the oppressor, he's gonna get kicked off, it's gonna disappear. It's gonna say that such and such player, Wavy Gamer, uh, kicked you from their vehicle. Okay, simply because I tried to request my Faggio while he was on it. Now, as soon as it disappears, I'm gonna drive in. Make sure he tells you that he stopped the bike and it disappears. All right, when I drive in, I'm going to have a copy of this car sitting in the same slot that my Faggio was in. There you go. All right, one bike, two cars. All right, y'all, hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that bell next to my name. Don't miss out on a future GTA 5 online video as I do keep y'all updated with the dopest shit in the community. I keep y'all making money. Hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to my homies. I keep their links down in the description. Shout out to Freight Train with the Fuzz. Shout out to Toe Venom. Make sure y'all follow them. Make sure you hit their pages up. Subscribe if you haven't already. All right, it's me, the Wavy Gamer, and I'm signing off, y'all. Peace. 
What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Now in this video, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how to teleport to any location on the map within GTA 5 Online and this is working after the latest patch of 1.40. So if you guys do end up enjoying the video at any point, be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Also turn on my post notifications and tweet me a screenshot of it and I will shout you guys out in my next video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. So to start off this glitch, open up your interaction menu and set your spawn location to last location. Once that's done, go over to the option that says hide options, go to jobs, and set the option that says all jobs from hide to custom. Once that's done, back out of your interaction menu, press start, go to your map, and look for any job on the map that is near the location you want to teleport over to, and press X or square to join the job. Now in this instance, I want to go over to the Los Santos International Airport, so I am going to select the job called taking off, and sometimes you guys will join other people like I did in this gameplay, but if you do join someone you can tell them to kick you from the job once you guys do load into the lobby and it will automatically spawn you guys in the location of the job you selected now this accidentally happened to me in this gameplay but i'm going to show you guys the solo method so now if you guys are the host of the job and you guys are by yourself in the lobby it's going to be a little bit different from the friend kicking you or a random person kicking you from the job now once you're in the lobby by yourself just start up the job and when you guys get into the selection screen for the job whether it is a race or a deathmatch or whatever it is when you guys are selecting something for that specific job make sure you guys do press b or circle to quit the job and when it loads back into gta 5 online you should be at the location of the job that you selected on the map and it's that simple and you guys have successfully teleported to the location of your choice in gta 5 online completely solo after patch 1.40 so of course if you guys did end up enjoying the video make sure you guys do leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and if you guys would like to shout out in my next video then make sure you guys do turn on my post notifications and screenshot it and send it to me at red Retro glitches on Twitter. Anyways, thank you guys so much for stopping by. I hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I will talk to you all later. Yo, what's good, Prestige community? It's Zav or PMHD here. Don't forget to check out the director featured in today's video if you enjoyed it. Sub link is at the top of the description. Check out our previous videos too. Subscribe, stay tuned, stay prestige. Peace.